Welcome to the Minute of Strength. Last week we showed you the 21 steps to a Turkish getup. Great way to practice the drill, hopefully you did and you got better at it. Now I want to show you the squat variation. Right? It's a very, very unique move. It's actually a little bit easier than the lunge variation or the more traditional variation. And this is where it's a sticking point for people. They have a very difficult time getting into that overhead squat position. All right, I'm going to show you a couple of variations on how to get there. We're going to drag in some of our vintage work by being able to come up on the toes while you do this and not necessarily having to stay flat-footed. All right, It's a myth that we, all should, we should all be able to do a flat-footed heels on the ground squat. The original squat, as we've told you before, is up on the toes. All of your, all of your weight is put right over your hips. No pressure on the knees, no pressure on the lower back. All right, much more powerful move. We're gonna drag that into this into this variation today. All right, and by the way, just side note: last week someone wanted to know what my hat meant. My dear, make all dreams into reality. Check it out; you see it on the site soon. All right, so watch this. So I'm gonna swing this. I'm gonna start from overhead. All right, just to give you again another variation. I'm gonna swing the bell overhead. I'm gonna squat under the bell, but I'm, this time I'm gonna come up on my toes. I'm gonna squat under the bell. Get my hand on the ground, either behind me or in front of me. I've seen people do it like this. I like it behind me. I'm, I feel like I have much more support. I drop my heel to the ground if I can. If not, it's fine. And right, my left foot, put it out in front of me. Sit on the ground. Now my right heel drops to the ground and lie back. I'm gonna come back up on this side. I'm gonna get up on my elbow. I'm gonna get up on my hand. My right foot is flat footed. Now watch this. I drag my other foot in. Now I can go flat footed, but let's say I couldn't. Come up on my toes. Heels off the ground, stand up, drive my heels into the ground, and support myself, and bring it back down. Try both variations, flat-footed or not. Don't feel like you have to have your heels on the ground. As long as you have those hips open, and you have your center of gravity right over your hip, over your hips, and not in your lower back or your knees. Perfectly safe, it's a great way to practice this exercise. Tremendous amount of effort coming from your, your legs and your core. Tremendous amount. Um, and zero in the lower back, right? So give this a shot. I'm gonna do another rep. I'm not gonna talk through it. Vaughn will sizzle it up so you can see what you're gonna practice, all right? Check it out.